guys. How'd you beat me in here? It's finally here. This is a obviously farm tech uh, chainsaw. Um, it's the G111, uh, top handle clone of the MS200T. So we're going to get this uh, opened up, check it out. Uh, give me a minute to get my coat off since I just came in. Okay, so uh, yeah, these actually uh, just came out. I've only actually seen one other video up on YouTube about them. Uh, well, okay, they've been selling it as the kit where you can build it yourself for some time, uh, but they haven't sold it as a complete unit where you could just order the saw, stick a bar on it, and go. So. Here we have one that is all put together from them, and a new mixing bottle. I'm getting a lot of these. Small tool kit, getting a lot of those too. But it looks like it's really pretty close to uh, complete. Not a whole lot to do to it. So as for my experience from the uh, 066, or the, uh, what is it, uh, the G660, um, this is well packaged, well wrapped. Since they're shipping them overseas, that is probably a good idea for them. Ha. In fact, it's wrapped so well I can't get it open. And there it is. That is a decent looking little machine. So, this one actually goes so far as to have the caps, like it still has even that lock down. I guess they call them easy access or something like that. supposed to be a quarter turn it is so uh, yep neat thing the uh, screw here is actually metal not plastic good call full form up but the air filters attached to this appears well unless it unscrews after you get that off Yeah, it does. I'm not going to unscrew it, but yeah, it does. So, quarter turn, lock and unlock for the air filter. Well, if I get it on there all the way. Bam. Let's pull the... Uh, the uh, bar guard off here. There we go. 
So outboard clutch, which also means that you have to have this unlocked in order to get this off. It, it doesn't come off easy otherwise. Those are already on there. I'm thinking that this is the safety catch for the chain, but I'm not seeing where it connects. Oh, that's what it is. Get it on there the right way. That goes there, and I bet that goes down there. Oh no, that's what goes down there. All right, so we need to do some minor assembly here. Nice thing is that uh, although this does not come with a bar or chain, uh, I do have a 192T that is not in use right now because it's been broken for a while. And I have a kit for it to repair it, but I haven't got around to it. So I have already stripped the bar and chain off of it uh, in uh, advance because I knew this was coming. So I can slap the bar and chain onto it. Now granted, on a saw this small, this isn't necessary, uh, but this is a arborist saw, meaning it is actually meant to be up in the tree with you, and uh, sometimes up in the tree, you're hanging on for dear life with one hand, uh, and the spikes on your feet, and then the other hand has a hold of the chainsaw, so these spikes actually do come in handy. Uh, to help you get good purchase on a limb to get it cut. Uh, I don't actually climb and cut anymore because uh, I outgrew that shit. <laughs> Pardon my language, but I just don't do it anymore. And I have friends that do, though, and I actually, uh, hopefully, We'll be able to get one of them to come over, and uh, it may be a while before I actually get to make this happen because we're in the middle of, uh, well, not in the middle of winter, but we're at the beginning of winter, and we just had our first big snowstorm, and everything is wet as it's melting. Not the ideal time to be climbing a tree, uh, even with proper safety equipment. Let me grab that bar and chain. So this is a 14 inch bar. And this thing is set all the way forward, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it sure is. Somewhere in there like this. So anyway, yeah, climbing at this time of year is probably not the greatest thing. I should have put the chain on first. Oh well. So I will not ask my friend to come over and risk his life to make a video <laughs> just yet. We'll wait till it's a little bit safer. Let's 
get this. So there it is all put together. So, not a whole lot I can say about it yet because I haven't even started it to uh, run it, but uh, I'm going to bring the uh, camera up a bit closer and uh, show you the controls on it and whatnot. And then uh, we'll put some gas in it. And uh, I don't know if it's dark yet outside or not. This came pretty late in the day and it gets dark early these days. So, if it's not. Uh, if it is dark outside, I will probably break my rule and start it in the shop. I don't normally do that, but, you know, for just a few seconds, shouldn't be too bad. I want to hear it run. I'm really kind of curious. So, let's bring the camera up and I'll show you the close-ups. Okay, so, <clears throat> here's the close-up of the saw. As you see, it is a G111 uh, from Holes Forma. It does have the easy access or toolless caps so they clip right off and they're held by the little string inside there doing this with one hand is a challenge I haven't even tried the pull start yet we'll get to that in a minute uh, you've got I believe that is your idle and your high and low up here yeah, yeah. This is your low, low idle, high idle, and then the overall idle. I am not sure what that is right there, but it's torque screw, so I'm assuming it's a uh, for the body, putting it, holding it together, or a muffler or something. And then the controls up on top here, all the way back is choke. And. I would heard the, the other fellow that has got one of these uh, put up a YouTube video said that this was uh, hard uh, to get into the choke position, but that moved really easy, so maybe they've corrected that after his video. I don't know, but it seems to go rather nicely. And then your half choke, and then run, and off. Not too bad, just like a 200. And then it's got the side tensioner here and like a lot of these small saws it's a single nut there is a, a tensioner actually acts as the second one to keep it uh, keep the bar straight and those are some pretty honking uh, <laughs> bucking spikes but hey it's a still right or well it's a clone of a still so <laughs> and then the oil tank also has the uh, quick release cap toolless cap so I guess, oh, that was something I noticed. The D-clip that's supposed to be here did not come with it. I've gone through all the packaging, and apparently uh, it got left out. Uh, there's the screw hole there for it. Uh, you, you, it has a little metal tab that screws on right there, and then the, the D-ring snaps into this, and you can pop it out to hook on your line. So I will be getting in touch with uh, Holes Forma to see if they can send me that piece because it was missing. But other than that, hey... Not too bad for uh, right at $300, considering that the 200s were going for around six, six and fifty somewhere in there. So, yeah. Well, let me get some fuel and oil in it, and we'll fire it up. See what it sounds like. Okay, so I opted to do this in front of the front door, which is much bigger. Uh, now that the shop is actually clean, and I can do stuff around it, so let's uh, let's give this a shot. Haven't started it yet. I got about three quarters of a tank of gas in it and it's full of oil. So this might take a minute on the first first fire up. There we go.
it does run. Uh, if you want to find out exactly how well it runs, you're going to have to come back when I can get outside and do some cutting with it. And like I said, eventually I want to have one of my buddies that's uh, still doing the tree trimming thing come over and actually climb with it and see what he thinks of it. So, well guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and uh, next time's G388 that I've got ordered that uh, should be here about the same time as this. Okay.